Well, happy Thursday, East Texas. This is what you need to know. Temperatures about 15 to 25 degrees colder than where they were yesterday at this time. So when you get ready to head out the door, dress in layers. You'll need the heavy coats this morning, but you'll be able to shed those coats as you head throughout the day. Look at the temperatures. 30 Henderson, 32 Longview, 32 Gilmer. We're now down to 33 in Tyler, 30 Athens, 32 degrees in Crockett. So most folks at or below freezing this morning. A cold and frosty start with clear skies, but that sunshine makes us uh, get back up to near 60 by lunchtime. We'll top out into the low to mid 60s this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Should be a gorgeous day. If you're getting ready to head to all the Christmas parades this evening, that's right. Uh, Tyler, Longview, Henderson, and Jacksonville, just to name a few, mainly clear skies. Temperatures quickly falling from the mid 50s down through the low 50s and into the upper 40s by the evening. So grab the sweaters or jackets as you head out. You'll need them, especially by the end of the evening. Friday, we'll see clouds on the increase back into the 60s, but here comes our next storm system moving well far to the south throwing rain. This is what we call an overrunning pattern. Moisture riding up and over some cold air coming down and it's going to be a cold, wet, raw, miserable weekend, especially on Saturday and even on the backside of that low pressure on Sunday. We may get a break Sunday afternoon, but then the upper low moves through on Monday, bringing more rain with it. A little closer inspection showing the clouds thickening up by Friday afternoon. Here come the scattered showers by Friday evening. Friday night into Saturday morning, we are in the rain and it's here to stay a while. How much? Well, between Saturday and Tuesday morning, one to three inches on average. Some folks will likely see higher amounts than that. We'll fine tune that as we get a little closer. Your first alert seven day forecast, 60s the next few days. That cold front moves through a cold, wet, raw, miserable weekend with rain. And then I'll tell you what, rain sticks around to the beginning of next week. You see that cold front on next Wednesday? That's a strong front brings us some of the coldest air we've seen so far this season. So you get the idea, very cold. I had a chance to visit Pittsburgh ISD uh, yesterday, visit with the students talking about weather. We got to do the weather from there. It was about 350, 400 students, wow. but they were great. They were very smart. They had great questions, great answers. We did several weather experiments. They were very involved, hands-on. The students were perfect. I mean, it was <laughs> a great time, a great visit there. They even got a chance to test out the storm tracker and, you know, that's always fun to be out there and about and get to do that. So it was a fun time. I want to thank the teachers there, the science teachers in the fifth grade there. That's Ms. Uh, Smith there, Kay Smith, and the rest of the group there. We had a great time. And this guy, this is Tyler. He loves tracking the storms overnight, and Ooh. guess what? Future meteorologist. He may just be a future meteorologist slash baseball star. So oh, okay. I tell oh, you what, yeah, yeah he, he do both. both of those. So day um, job, night job. Exactly. <laughs> it was a great time, but I want to thank them for allowing me to come on out there and visit. We had a great time. And, they are uh, so cute. Yes, yes. Sharing they did all a great job wisdom. with the weather with it too yesterday. So. <laughs> How fun! Yeah. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Cedric.